Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be making her famous vegetable pizza for y'all today. And here's all the ingredients you'll need. There's diced cucumbers, tomatoes, diced tomatoes, uh, cut up broccoli, and you'll need a ranch dressing seasoning packet, and three things of whipped cream, cream cheese. There's two of them already in there, and here's the other one she's gonna put in there and then some cheese. And you'll need this for, you can get a sheet, like a croissant a sheet thing, or you can just get these and roll them out. But it, you'll probably need about three of these. Yeah, three of them. And that's all the ingredients. I'll let her explain to you and show you how she's gonna make it. Okay, I take these uh, crescent rolls here. I'd rather have a sheet, but uh, this is all they could find. And I press it in my uh, pan here, ungrease. You do not grease your pan and uh, you get it all pressed in there. And then you put it in the oven, uh, you put it on bake for uh, about five minutes. You just kinda kinda look at it and see if you think it's done. And then uh, turn it on broil and uh, uh, just watch it. And when it starts getting brown like this, then you take it out and you have to let it cool. So, and after it cools, you start mixing your, uh, let me get it here. Get mom's Bible off the uh, my dresser in there. And then you take this, uh, dip all this in here like this. Yeah, just let that for a minute. Put all this in there. Now you can use uh, cream cheese to block, but you have to set it out and uh, let it um, get thawed, be soft, or you can get this. I'd rather get this. And then all you do is just sprinkle uh, this uh, ranch dressing in it. You just sprinkle it all in here. One packet will do it because it's kind of strong. And you just stir it around real good in there. And this is good. And, uh, and uh, we always fix, I learned how to make this uh, when I first got saved and went to church and we had a, a church picnic and a lady brought it and I fell in love with it. You can put as many vegetables as you want on it. Uh, usually I put cauliflower, but I didn't have none today, so. But um, I don't like a whole lot of uh, vegetables, but I do love tomatoes and cucumbers and broccoli. That is uh, my main vegetables that I like. So we get this stirred up here, and then we start spreading it on the bread here, the caressing rolls. You just spread it on there like the pizza sauce because it's supposed to be a vegetable pizza. Yeah, and it is good. Like I said, when that lady brought it to our picnic, I had to know how to make it. I think everybody makes it now, but this was years ago. And I like, the more of this you put on there, the more I like. Me too, that's probably the best part. Yeah, this is the best part. Uh, yeah, I was, t I was telling Mil or Milton, Corey, see when you get old, you name all your children and that you tell them, say, well, you know what I'm saying when you call the wrong one. Well, mommy, you said that one. I said, yeah, but you knew what I meant. But uh, anyway, while I was telling Corey to get my mom's Bible, she's been dead for about, about 18 years. And uh, when we was little, we lived up in the holler, off a of holler. <laughs> I told y'all about that before. And um, um, they, we had peddlers that would come up through there, had big trucks, and they have everything on the on the truck, anything you can think of on the trucks. And they come up there to uh, sell their ware. And uh, so Dad got Mom a Bible off there one day, uh, and a, a rug for a floor, a linoleum for her, uh, one of the rooms, and she wanted a Bible, and he got her a Bible, a family Bible. 
and uh, mom used to tell stories out of it every night she'd tell stories and it's got pictures in it so i'll show it to you in a minute when i get this on here and uh it was something else i, I loved it you know well, we didn't have no books or anything back then um we didn't hardly have anything back then but anyway dad got that for mom and she started reading Bible stories out of it to us. Wasn't kids' Bible stories, just regular Bible stories. It had pictures in it, and uh, Mom would show, show us the pictures and tell the story, read the story under the pictures. But, uh, but that peddler, I thought, was something else, you know, come up in there bringing everything to sell. But uh, that was our store back then. <laughs> we never did go to store. Dad always done the shopping. Uh, he got everything that we needed. And Mom would stay home with the kids, you know, because uh, we didn't have no vehicle. Uh, he would walk out of the holler and get his uh, uh, sister's husband, and uh, he would take him to store across the mountain, and uh, he would get what we needed, you know. But, uh, yeah, this is real good. Them was the good old days. You didn't hear all this hate and stuff going on and burning cities down or whatever. People talking against each other. You never did hear stuff like that then. Churches was full back then, standing outside. When I went to church, there was uh, people standing outside the, the church windows was raised. You didn't have no air conditioner. And they... Uh, let me put this on there and then I'll show them my Bible, mom's Bible. Now you, you can go any way you want to, to put your uh, vegetables on there. This is my broccoli. You just uh, spread it on there like that, as much as you want on it. And whatever kind of vegetables you like that you want on it. It's real simple, real easy. It's not complicated like my last uh, one me and Corey done. You know, our last video still hasn't uploaded yet. It's it's being difficult to upload because it's a kind of a longer video. Yeah, longer than what we thought, but we was trying to get together. It's been a long time since I made bread pudding. It's like when I had foster kids and stuff, and uh, I um, made it quite a bit then. Yeah, that one's going to be for the advanced cooks only. <laughs> yeah. It's got a lot of ingredients <laughs> in it. almost advanced me. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, it's good. It's sweet. It's really sweet. So you'll really like it. If you are still watching at this part, make sure to like and subscribe. And leave a comment on what y'all want to see next. And like I told y'all in the last video, people got me gifts and stuff. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate it. I never expected anything like that. I never expected so many subscribers and stuff to uh, do that, but uh, it just blesses my heart. God is so good, you know, he's so good. He always blesses his children, and y'all bless me with the stuff you sent me. Yeah, thank y'all so much for everything. And here's the tomatoes. Uh, these are Tommy Toes, and I cut them in pieces and put them on here. You could use the big ones if that's all you had, but I like the Tommy Toes because they're not so juicy, and the big ones are kind of juicy. So I think it was a little box that I done. And here's the P.O. box for anybody else that hasn't seen it yet, or if y'all haven't seen the last videos or new subscribers or anything, here's the P.O. box. Y'all could pause the video or picture it or whatever y'all want to do. And uh, anything that y'all send, we'll make sure to use it on the video, and we'll do a box opening with it, and we'll show it off on the video, anything that y'all send. No, and thank y'all so much for everything. Now, I have to tell you, when we went to the post office and my husband went in to get it, I was so surprised. I couldn't believe it. I didn't wait to the video. I opened it right then and there. I said, I got to see what this is. I never got anything like that. But um, I really appreciate it. I thank you. It's just surprising and it just... And to know where you're all from, that's what I like. Yeah, she loves reading the comments and stuff, yes. so y'all could talk to her in the comments. and. Yeah, he showed me how to answer the comments. Now, I don't know if I can 
anymore or not. He'd probably have to show me again. My daughter laughs at me. She, or I don't know if she laughs at me or she gets mad at me. She said, Mom, I've done showed you this a thousand times. How many times do I have to show you this? And I said, Annie, I'm an old woman. I ain't never done anything like this. And uh, she just laughs at me. But, uh, yeah, you guys showed me several times how to do these uh, bones and stuff. I'm catching on pretty good, but it took me a while. And uh, Milton hasn't caught on real good yet. He go to Beckley and he said, you call me if you need anything. Well, I call him. He never answers the phone. And he told me, and then he'll call me back. And he said, I tried to answer, but it wouldn't answer. <laughs> I said, you have to push it like this, Milton. He said, well, I couldn't get it to answer. But, and another thing that's good on this is uh, green peppers or bell peppers. They are real good on this too. But like I said, whatever you like, that's, and I would have put some green peppers on here too, but I don't have any. But what makes this pizza, like I'm telling you, is this, the ranch dressing and the whipped cream. That's what makes it. You can put anything on and it still be delicious. And then of course, you top it with cheese. Yeah, whatever type of shredded cheese that y'all like. Yeah, whatever kind you like. And I'm gonna use my hands. That's what hands are made for. Somebody said, that's what God made them for, is to use. These are your forks, they said. This is your spoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, Now you just cover the cheese. And you don't gotta bake it or anything. After this, it's done because yeah. you just bake the bread. How long, did you tell them how long you bake the bread for? Um, uh, you have to watch it, probably about eight minutes, maybe 10 at the most. And like I said, you put it on bake and then you uh, watch it. And when it looks like it's starting to get done, then you turn it on broil. And it's just a few minutes. You gotta watch it real close on broil. It just takes a few minutes. And it'll start browning. And you've seen how brown it was. Uh, that's, and you take it out and you let it cool. And after it cools, you start putting this stuff on it. So, and uh, that is our um, vegetable pizza. Wait a minute, I'll cut a piece of it. Ooh. Here's what it looks like afterwards. But thank y'all so much for everything again, and God bless y'all. Yes, we thank you. Praise you. Go to church and Sunday school. That's our hope. Go to church and Sunday school. That's our hope. And here's a mama's Bible she was telling y'all about with her. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You can cut the pizza afterwards. Yeah. Here's her mom's Bible. Now, this is real old. Mom moved several times. But the peddler, see, it's coming apart. But the peddler brought it up in his big truck that he had all the wares and stuff. He had uh, stuff that you could, uh, hose and shovels and rakes. He had rugs to lay in your floor. He had kitchen utensils, um, plates, pots and pans, everything. I mean, it looked funny. It looked like what they showed on TV if you watch the old uh, uh, westerns and um, things where they show the the peddler that comes with all the wear, that's what it looked like. And this is an old, old Bible. I kind of keep it in there. I don't use it. You can see how little the writing is. Let me see if I can find a, it's got colored pictures in it, here and there. I don't know if I can find any now. But mom, uh, oh, that's his brother when he was, <laughs> that's uh, Corey's brother when he was uh, modeling. Uh, well, he was going to, but he never did. I was looking for the pictures. I've seen one over here somewhere. Let me see. Oh, now look at this, would you? What I found in here. That is my mom and dad. Look at the clothes we wore. And there I am, stooped down. Hey, this one's mama, and these are all her brothers. Yeah. Yeah, these are my brothers. This is uh, my baby brother. This is my oldest brother, and this is my middle brother. And uh, 
uh, that's uh, my middle brother too. My youngest brother is not filmed here. And um, I'll have to tell you that story later. Uh, me and mom was pregnant at the same time. And I'll tell you about that story later. But um, this is the book that mom, uh, Bible that mom got. And it's had, um, there's some pictures. It's got pictures through it like this. It's old timey. I mean, you know, so it is something else to see. But that's the Bible and it's got in here. What was you looking at? And I was gonna say that uh, the outside and the cover might be really old and worn and falling apart, but the words is all mint condition, perfect condition. Yeah. Because uh, God's word don't fade. That's so no, right. no matter what, the words will always be perfect. And, and do you know that a Bible will not burn up? It might burn around the edges, but you know God's word will not burn if it's in the house fire. I have seen too many of them like that. Let me see if I can find uh, uh, what mom wrote in here. I can't remember where it's at now. But anyway, in this, and there's Jesus knocking at the door. That's my favorite picture. Yeah, if you look up uh, God's True Word where they preach out on Facebook, it'll have this picture. You'll see Jesus knocking on the door. And uh, a girl's supposed to fix it where y'all can get to it fast. But anyway, it's got places in here where you can... Um, I ain't been in it for a long time. Where uh, uh, it's got the family history. Uh, the births of each one of her child as mom and dad and then her children and then their children. Uh, she's got it wrote down in there, you know, up until when she died, you know. But uh, like I said, that's that's an old Bible. Got it when I, I'm 73 and mom got it when I was about uh, uh, seven or uh, seven or uh, seven, uh, four or five. Move it back over here out of the way so I don't get nothing spilled on it. But this is, let me get a plate and put it on. And I'm just going to get a big old plate to put it on. Paper plate. When a lot of people comes, I use paper plates. A lot easier, I don't have a lot of dishes to wash. Um, my English teacher's in there telling me it's wash. I, I told her I was a hillbilly. I say wash. <laughs> oh, she's in there making fun of me. Laughing at me the way we talk. Y'all probably are too though. And here it is. See how it looks? I guess it's crunchy. Yeah, and the bread is real soft because it's these crescent rolls. It just yeah. melts in your mouth. You love it. It is delicious. Yeah, and it's healthy if you got little kids or grandkids mm -hmm. or something. They might actually eat it, even though it's healthy. A big bite. Mm. I love this. You'll love it too. So That's all. Go to church and Sunday school. And I love you all. I thank you for everything. And God bless you. Yep, thank you all so much for everything. And God and, bless you all. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we're making a prayer book. Because people are asking for prayer. And I'm going to write your names down in it. And I'm going to pray over it every time I pray. We'll pray for all anybody who needs it, and mm -hmm. just let us know in the comments. And thank y'all. Thank y'all so much.